hey guys has the river state crisis get tougher shocking update governor fubora surprises river people reviews why he wants he went to aso rock okay and accepted resolution the river state governor fubora has reviewed the major reason he was at a meeting to resolve the political crisis in river state on monday and why he accepted the resolutions reached at the meeting, which was attended by many prominent politicians in River State, including the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, yes, Wike. It could be recorded that the judgment reached at the meeting has been generating reactions across the country, as many commenters described the governor as a coward. Why others described some decisions of President Bola Tinubu regarding the situation as unconstitutional. However, in a statement on Tuesday, Governor Fubora declared that there is a no price too big for him to pay to foster peace in the state. He insisted that he was committed to ensuring peace in the state and among, among its people, to foster development, therefore, he looked the he took the decision in the interest of the state. It was gathered that he made this known while speaking at the third conv convocation and ceased uh, Founders Day ceremonies of the Pamo University of Medical Science in Ipiri, Tan, Oboi, Ikbo, Ukbo local government area of the state. He said there is no price that will be too big to pay to ensure that peace prevails. Meanwhile, in a statement on Tuesday, the popular human rights activist Femi Falana frowned at one of the resolutions at the meeting, which stated that the 27 members of the River State House of Assembly whose seat was recently declared vacant, should return to the House. According to the senior advocate of Nigeria, San, the presidential interventions must always be grounded in provisions of the Constitution, stressing that the resolution regarding the 21, 27 lawmakers was against the law. With respect, the presidential read statements of the 27 a cross carpeting members of the River State House of Assembly by the presidency aligned to the constitution in every material particular, okay, Falana said. Meanwhile, the former governor of Jigawa State, Sule Lamedo, has said President Bola Tinubu did not broke, broke peace in River State, but use his office to enhance his party's fortunes, the All Progressive Congress APC. In a statement yesterday, Lamedo accused the National Working Committee, NWC, of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, of docility. He said it was inconvincible that the party allowed its Ark River Tinubu to intervene in the dispute between the River State Governor Fubora and his presidential, the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, yes, some weekend. Lamedo in the statement said it was a point of irresponsibility for the PDP leader uh, leadership to allow its opponent to settle a political difference between PDP members. He stated, pray. Do we still have the nation working committee of the PDP or better still? Do we have a party called PDP? That is a very good question. If we have one of the two, how come they are total absent in the saga playing out in the PDP family in rivers? Is the docility of the leadership of the PDP so surmounted to the extent that President Tinubu of APC? Our swan river and opponent is now the grand uh, patriarch of PDP. The former Minister of Foreign Affairs added, 
if he's convincible that a political party will simply sit back and allow his fortunes taken over by Sam Vagers, the APC, what President Tinubu did in the so-called peace meeting is not a broken peace in River State, but using his office to enhance the fortunes of his political party. There are many areas yearning for peace in the in the country where President Tinubu's political expertise okay and wisdom are needed. What skill has he applied to stop the killings of citizens in Nigeria, which is, is his primary responsibility, which he has confidently looked away? Uh, rightly, the so-called peace accord in rivers only planted the mines, which we definitely explored in the not too distant fortune, with collateral consequences on the entire country. Asari, Idokubo, and Chief Edwin Clark have uh, alluded to this last week. Lamedo said the PDP National Executive Committee, NEC, should feel sufficiently embarrassed, if not slightly, by the action taken by President Tinubu to reward a political mercenary with PDP fortunes in River State. And he just said the truth. Where is PDP? Because this matter consigns PDP. Well, as far as this mat mat matter is concerned, uh, since uh, Mwike have not, you know, decamp yet, though he, we, his body language and everything is in APC, but he has not pronounced that he has decamped from PDP. He's still in PDP. You understand? So PDP al allow his opponents to come and settle matter in their house. So he asks a very sensitive question. Do we still have PDP in this country? And with what has been going on up to now, PDP have not taken action against the, you know, FCT minister with anti-party, whatever is playing and all that. And all these are happening. This is just the beginning. PDP should get ready because the worst is about to happen to them since they don't want to take action and all that. He's, he's caring. What are they afraid of? You kept quiet. Your opponent is now deciding for you. And the decision is just for their own good. It's, it doesn't make sense. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. If you're just joining us, don't please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.